Well, folks, it's that time of year again, whether we like it or not. Um, it's time to treat our mites. Varroa mites are a major problem, and they will destroy your colonies throughout winter if you do not treat for them. They're going to infest your bees with all kinds of viruses and pathogens, and it's really going to break them down over the winter. The Varroa mite causes deformed wing virus, but you may have seen this, the wrinkled looking wings. Um, if you're seeing that, then you, you, it's desperate that you treat. There's going to be a few things you're going to need as far as requirements to treat with the Mite Away Quick Strip. What you're going to want is seven days in a row with lows no lower than 50 and highs no higher than 90. So if you can stay between 50 and 90 degrees for seven days, that is ideal for treating with the Mite Away Quick Strip. You're also going to want to make sure that your entrance reducer is fully removed when you treat with this. This creates a good airflow. You're going to want a good thick pair of rubber gloves. You do not want to touch the formic acid strips with your bare hands. They can leave burns on the skin. So if you get it on your skin, you should immediately wash your hands. Um, if your bee yard's out away from the house, I'd advise taking a little bit of water and a jug so you can wash up after you're done. You're going to want a, a nice sharp hive tool or a pair of scissors to slice open the packets of the strips within the bucket. The Mite Away Quick Strips have actually been approved as an organic treatment for the Varroa Mite. Formic acid naturally exists in honey. A simple little ant secretes formic acid as a self-defense or an attack mechanism. Birds will actually put the ants on them and that's because they're secreting the formic acid which keeps the mites off of the birds. So this may be one of the reasons that it's been proved organically for honeybees to keep the varroa mite away. Let's begin. I've got a deep on the bottom, a medium, an excluder, and then I had two supers on it which I removed. So now I'm gonna remove the medium and place the two Mite away quick strips between the deep and the medium. I'll smoke the bees to get them down in. Now if you order these by the pail, one pack is per hive. Okay, then I just use my hive tool, cut the end of it off. Throw on my strips, which the fumes from these are extremely strong. You want to keep them away from your face. I recommend holding your breath as long as possible. That is the correct way. You do not want to lay your strips this way. You want one here more to this side and one at the back more on that side the another thing to consider is to wait more till evening to treat or a couple hours after your hives go in the shade and that will give them eight ten hours before the sun's beating back on the hive which is really going to make that treatment full blast the, the fumes are going to be tremendous in there when the sun starts to beat on that. So that gives them a little bit of time to adjust and get used to things. Now that we've placed the strips on, we want to make sure that our entrance at the bottom is open all the way. And you can see mine is. Okay, it's been seven and a half days. You go a little over, it's going to be all right. You can see that the Strips have pretty well cracked and dried out at this point. So there's not a whole lot of formic acid vapors coming off of them at this moment. But I would still recommend the gloves and I wouldn't put them near your face. I'll also bring a bag to collect them all so I can dispose of them. Then we'll close it back up. 
Well, that's all there is to it, folks. You've closed up your hive. You've treated it now. Varroa mites are taken care of. Now, it's a good idea to do this in early spring and during fall. So, uh, keep that in mind. Use this video as a reference. Thanks for watching. JC's Beast.